Hello, it's Sonia here with The Pretty Stitch. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, I'm so happy to have you here. So today's project, we are going to be doing another 18 inch doll project. I've been on a roll with those. So I'm going to be using my G hook or 4.25 millimeter hook. And we are just making a headband today. Now this headband is pattern that I made. Um, I was looking to see when I made this pattern. It was 2013 and it goes with a dress and I probably will do the dress on the channel. Uh, maybe that'll be next week. This week's been super busy so I haven't had a whole lot of time to really sit and film and make things. So we're just going to do a quick one today. So to get started with this project we are going to chain seven. So I am using I'm sorry, I didn't even tell you what I'm using. I'm using some Simply Soft, uh, Karen Simply Soft yarn. So this is labeled as worsted weight yarn, which you can certainly use, but I think it's closer to a heavier DK weight yarn. So we are going to chain seven. Okay, so I have my seven chains. I'm going to work in the back bump of our chain and in the second bump from our hook, we are working slip stitch and we're just going to slip stitch across in each bump of our chain. So at the end of row one here we will have six slip stitch alright so there we go so for row two, we're going to chain one and turn our work. We will be working in the back loops only. So I'm not having it like this, I'm just having it like that. It's easier to see the tops of the stitches. And we're going to slip stitch across. So we're slip stitching across for a total of six rows. So you might want to mark down each row because it is kind of hard to keep track of rows with slip stitch. It's similar to if any of you knit I know with knitting it's hard, with, especially with stockinette stitch, to keep track of your row. So it's helpful to have a little stitch counter or just, I don't have one so I just write it down or put a note on my phone. So I'm going to go off camera. We're going to be repeating row two and just working our six rows here. So this is row three. Okay, so I've got my six rows, doesn't look like a whole lot. So this is actually going to be into the back of the headband underneath the head. So what we're going to do is we are going to chain one and turn and we are going to slip stitch in that first stitch in the back loop there, just like we've been doing. And we're going to chain 46. Okay, so I have my 46 chains here. So what we want to do is in our second chain from our hook, we're just going to slip stitch and you can work in your chain however you like and we're going to continue to slip stitch up our chain here. So just working one slip stitch in each chain. So I'm going to keep going and I will meet you back when I get to the end of my chain. Okay, so here I have slip stitched across my chain. So what you want to do is we're going to go back into this little nub that we made here. And we're going to slip stitch in that next stitch in the back loop. And then one part of our headband is done. So now we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch in the back loop. And we're going to repeat what we did here. We're going to chain 46 and then we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch after, after well, I'm sorry we're going to chain 46 you're going to slip stitch up your chain then you're going to go back onto this little rectangular nub here you're going to slip stitch here slip stitch in the next stitch stitch chain 46 slip stitch up that chain and then slip stitch in that one so you're going to have a total of three strands here so I'm going to go do that and I will meet you back. So here's my second strand. I feel like I went over this one really fast. So let's 
We've finished slip stitching up our chain, so I'm going in my next stitch here, right here, and just gonna slip stitch in that back loop to kind of anchor that strand. And now we're going to go into the next stitch and work a slip stitch, and I'm going to chain 46. Okay, so I slip stitched up my third chain, and we are going to slip stitch in that last stitch here. Now we are not going to cut our yarn, so I'm just going to pull that loop out just so it doesn't come undone. And now, oops, sorry, I bumped that camera, didn't mean to do that. All right, so now what we need to do is we are going to braid these three strands. So if you don't know how to braid, I will try to teach you. <laughs> so I have your three strands. You're going to take, now I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna take the strand to my right. I'm going to cross it over that middle one and then that middle one is going to go over to the right I'm going to take my strand to my left and cross it over this middle strand and then the one I just crossed over I'm gonna just kick that guy to the left and you're just going to repeat that so taking that one on the right crossing it over the middle the one we crossed over now becomes the one on the right Taking the one on the left, crossing it in the middle. And you just braid all the way down. And you just want to have a nice, even tension here. So your braid looks nice and neat. So I'm going to finish this up off camera. And I will meet you back. Okay, so I have braided. There we go. So now we're gonna go, hopefully this won't come undone. <laughs> if you have a sticky yarn like a wool, it should be okay. But this is kind of that, like, got a sheen to it, so I might have to just tighten that up again. So we're gonna go back to our loop here. Put the hook back on that loop. So I don't like sewing, so this is how we're going to do it. So now we're just going to work on the ends of the rows here. I'm just going to slip stitch, just picking up a loop where I made this tight. All right, we're gonna, we're just gonna find some loops there, and we're just what we want to do is we want to slip stitch till we get up to here. So it doesn't have to look super pretty or anything. Just you know, throw some stitches in there, and just to get yourself up to that point. Because again, this is in the back. And if you have your doll's hair down, it's going to be underneath the hair, so you're not even going to see it. Alright, so now I am where I need to be. So I'm going to grab the bottom of my braid here, just going to fix that guy. Alright, so we have it like that. So what we're going to do is we are going to attach these ends to the other side of our little rectangle here. So we're going to work, I'm going to uh, stick my hook in that first strand, just anywhere, and then I am going to put my hook in that first stitch, so one, two, three, four, five, six, she's kind of hidden, there it is, but you can just grab, you know what, you can grab a loop anywhere, it really doesn't matter, we just want to anchor that one there, so we're just slip stitching that whole thing on, there we go, and now I'm going to go grab a loop again in that same strand, just so it's on there, nice and securely and just going in the next stitch. Well, those are tight. Again, just grab a loop wherever you can. <laughs> okay, so that first strand is anchored. So now I need to go to my second strand. Just stick my hook in there. And then the next stitch on the bottom here, just picking up a stitch, a loop wherever. And working that slip stitch and then going back in that strand picking up a loop and then going into the next stitch to anchor that guy on and then we have one more 
So back in that strand, the next stitch, and then back in that strand again. And then that last stitch there. And so now your headband is attached. So what you want to do is cut your yarn. And you're all set. And so this thing is reversible, as you can see. So then you would put it on the doll. This part obviously is in the back there. And it does have a nice little bit of stretch in there. So if it's a, like, especially here, reason why I did this is because slip stitch is almost similar to like a ribbing, like a knitted ribbing. So if your doll's head is a little bit bigger than this, you've got that little bit of stretch so that it should still fit on there pretty good. So of course you're gonna wanna weave in your loose ends, which I have already done so. And I made another one. I made an orange one to go with that orange series that I did. Uh, so now she has a headband. I was thinking of a hat, but I didn't have enough orange and I completely out of the green, the, the little carrot outfit. I will have a link in the description box for, I have a whole playlist of 18 inch doll patterns. And my latest series was a top, a summer top, shorts, sandals, and now she has a headband. I hope you enjoyed this project. And if you did, please like, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.